what is up. It is the Fungus Among Us. It's me, Urban Fungus. And today we are back on Conan Exiles. This will be the second video in the series. So today, following on from the first video. Where do I stand up? There it is. Following on from the first video. Now, when the first video ended, I decided to add a little bit more. So I've got myself a little shelter, as you can see. And I just built the basics just so I could survive. Now, we're going to go today, and basically I'm going to talk about a little bit about the controls of the game. Because, oh, Christ. Well, we'll just do that. Um, basically, the, the game itself doesn't have really any uh, any methods of teaching you how to play the game. It's kind of basically, I mean, it is a preview game. So the game just drops you straight into the game. So obviously, once you can create your character, once you create your warrior, female, male, whatever tribe you are, whatever religion you are, you're obviously dropped into this vast wasteland, this vast wasteland, and you're kind of just left to fend for yourself. Now, as you can see, the map is pretty huge. So I plan to basically get as far into the game as possible. Now, this little logo down here, this is where you start. This is the very beginning of the game, right here. So basically, game itself, you'll start naked and without anything. So the first thing you really need to realize is the main action button to do anything for picking up items and harvesting is X. Okay, so if we go over to the bush right now, now if you hold X on the control, you will literally start gathering materials. You can hold down X, it just does it automatically. Okay. It works the same way as if you're picking up rocks. Or small stones anyway. Small stones and rocks and branches on the ground as well. So if you pick up just pick it up. Now obviously once you start picking up all the items and stuff, you think where on earth is them? Where on earth do they get kept? If you press start on your option menu on your control you are opened up to your inventory screen. Now the stuff on the left hand side here, as you can see here, this is your this is your backpack, pockets as it were. This is everything you're holding. Now as you can see in the top left here, it, it's got a, uh, a weight limit bar at the moment, it's 59%, so obviously once you hit into the, the red, into the 90%, any higher, you're encumbered. So obviously it slows you down, you can't run, you know, really, really slowly. Also, to operate things on here is basically a simple case of press A on it, it highlights it, it tells you a little bit about it. Uh, you can use it, drop it, it gives you more info about it, basically. Now obviously, I'm not going to eat meat, so obviously as you can see there, there's plenty of different items. Each one, as I say, tells you a little bit about it, tells you what you can be used for, and handy little items. Now you do have a radial menu on the game to obviously quick, quick select items. Now if you want to put certain items into your radial menu, for instance I have a torch here, I already have a torch in my radial menu, but I will show you in it. All you need to do is press LB, it brings up your radial menu here. Now to operate your radial menu you need the right analog stick. You just rotate it around, it's as simple as that. Now as I have highlighted the torch, you can see in the top left from my backpack, all you want to do is use the right analog stick and cl click where you want it to go. Once you're higher, happy with where you pointed it to go, just press A. Now, the game itself, as it is in previous state, is a little bit buggy. Now, as you notice here, the torch isn't actually in the radio menu, it's still in my backpack. So again, what you want to do is press LB, and you'll notice that the little wooden box that's in the top right is now gone. Highlight in the top right corner again, press A, and it's gone. You open the medium menu, there it is, in the top right, where you asked it to go. Now, the things in the top, in the radio menu, is very much, uh, if it breaks, it will stay there, it's not highlighted, but you are able, if you put the material, it's on your person, you can actually repair, repair, try and say in English, repair the item. So in, for instance, the bone shield I have, I don't have it because it's, it's broken. If I open my radio menu now, you'll see it's dark. Now you see in the bottom right there of the screen it says repair. So you can literally just press Y on things when they break if they're already in your radial menu, which saves a bit of time, which is handy. 
So again, you've got your sword, you've got a stone club, I've got a couple of pickaxes and a hatchet. So that is basically how you equip things into your radial menu. Once you start leveling up as well, you can basically scroll along. They make it easier to, instead of scrolling manually all the way between the three screens, if you just press right trigger, it just snaps to each one. Okay. Now, left trigger doesn't go back the other way, so you've got to constantly press right trigger. So to get to the middle, middle page, it's right trigger. Now, as you can see here, you've got feet, hands, torso, legs, and head. This is pretty much self-explanatory, really. Also, if you press up, you can go to attributes. Now, when you level up your character, this is attributes button will say level up. Press on the button here, and this is where you can upgrade your character. Now, obviously, you've got a case of seven different things to upgrade. You've got survival, encumbrance, grit, accuracy, vitality, agility, strength. Pretty much self-explanatory, really. Obviously, you can see exactly what uh, what point you can put into it, and obviously, it upgrades and helps you. Obviously, you can also see your health, your stamina, your food and drink above that as well. So, obviously, certain, upgrading certain things obviously will increase your attributes, as it were, up there. Now, a bit like um, Ark, when you spend points. You can learn recipes. So what you do is you highlight recipes, you click on recipes with the A button, and it takes you to another page. Now this page here is basically a lot like, as I say, we're just using Arc as an example. When you level up, you get points. Uh, it says here, obviously, I've got an available of zero, and I've spent 13 so far. So at the start of the game, when you start leveling up, you're a given one point here, one point there. Uh, some things will only cost one point to upgrade. You start getting down here, and obviously one point, two points to upgrade to get the helm, the, the hats. Now obviously, what you can see here is it tells you what it requires. Which is, basically, it's, it's, worth, it's telling you that you can't just go and get the best swords, and the best helmets, and the best trousers, this, that and the other. If you want that stuff, you've got to work for it. So you basically tell you two things which are required, and then if you can't find them, Strangely enough, it highlights them yellow for you, so you can see them straight away. So if I wanted rope, it tells me that I need to first learn this, which I already have learned. So then once I've got three points and I'm actually level 10, I can get the thrall taken. So the guys, if you haven't looked already or you've not played it, here's basically a quick look through everything you can get. So you can get some pretty brutal looking weapons. Okay, you can also get some fancy things to go inside the house. So obviously it shows you a little bit of what enemies you're going to go against as well. So obviously you've got some weird looking rhinos, you've got some end dead hyenas. So obviously there's also what it's telling me I need. So another mounted head. And there's plenty of helmets, plenty of plenty of uh, items to put inside your house. There's uh, many different uh, looks and styles you can go for. Again, there's plenty of armor, plenty of weapons, but we'll go through all of that later. So, obviously, on to the building crafting side of things. Now, once you've chosen certain things out of your recipes, it all comes here on the right-hand side of the screen. Now, if you're wanting to know how to build it, you basically press A on the button, and it tells you exactly what you need. Now, for the campfire, you need five twigs, 12 stone. To basically build that, as you can see, I haven't got 12 stone, so it's not highlighted, but I have five stick. So basically, you want to pick up another, well, I've got one stone, so you want to pick up another 11 stone and it will highlight it until you craft it. Obviously, each item is dependent on what you need. So, this one here, you need 16 stick and 8 twine. There's the twine to make twine. You need fiber. So, it's self explanatory, really. And that is basically the menu side of the game. And now it's dark. And now it's night time. And now I can't see. I'll walk back to my base, wherever my base is. In the dark, it's hard to see. So that is basically the menu of the game, guys. So control wise of your actual character, it's very straightforward. Now as you can see, LB is your radial menu. So to quick select, hold down LB, and you can literally press what you want to go. 
Now you can obviously hold two things. So torch and shield goes in the left, weapons go in the right, pickaxe and axe also go in the right hand. Now you've got two modes of attack with your weapons. So you have LB for a light attack, uh, LB, RB, I do correct myself, RB for a light attack, and right trigger for a heavy attack. Now obviously you can hold right trigger, and you can aim yourself, and you can obviously do a double swing. Now, you notice in the top left my stamina is dropping like anything doing that. So it's a very, very costly move to do. Also, if you need to quick evade, B button is a roll. Okay? Now you can't roll forward, but you can roll sideways, left, right, and backwards. So it's very helpful when you're up against enemies. Oh, there we go. It's very handy when you're trying to take on multiple enemies, or even just one big enemy. To evade out of the way, especially if you're fighting an animal, you need to evade if they're coming at you. Then it's very handy to roll out of the way. Now, crouching is a simple right analog stick down. If you need to crouch, if you need to sprint, or pushing forward in the left analog click the left analog stick down, and you sprint. Okay, let me try and get it to daytime because I'm on single player. Oh, oh, this looks like it's daytime. Anyway. And obviously, like most games, you need to make sure you're always topped up in food and water. Uh, I chose this pot basically to, to begin my base because I'm literally right next to all the water on the map. So basically, that's the reason why I did it, because when I mean, you've got a long river that goes almost straight through the middle of the level. So I thought, well, I'll just start here because it's probably going to be the safest option whilst I'm learning how to play the game. Food-wise, it is easy to come along. Whatever you kill, basically, if you kill it and then you hack it up with a, an axe or a pickaxe or a, or a sword or a club, you'll get flesh. I'll show you what it is. This stuff here. You get feral flesh. With feral flesh, you can actually cook it on the campfire. When you cook it on the campfire, it becomes shredded roast. You can eat that, and obviously, boom, done. Now, obviously, it has got durability, as you see in the bottom left there. It starts to drop. As it starts to drop, it becomes every meat. I just dropped that. Oh, I got a I ate that. Whoops. Then, uh, just to... Whoops. Then I got food poisoning. So, yeah, don't eat spoiled meat. Did your parents teach you nothing? God damn it. Uh, anyway, so that is basically the basic of basic controls. Now, building wise, this is where it got me a little confused. It's exactly the same to build as it is to equip items into your regular menu. So what do I mean by that? Basically, you go across and you build. What can I build? Can I build anything quickly just to show you guys? Is there a ceiling? Okay, ceiling. So 21 stones, 3. See in the bottom right, it's crafting queue. Goes from there into the left-hand side of the menu. So as you can see, it's there. Now, basically, you can't literally just grab it from here and place it. it. You have to put it in your radial menu. This is what I found so far. So you've got to put it in your radial menu, and again, highlight your radial menu. And now, wherever you want to build it, you basically press uh, hold down the LB button, choose it with the right analog stick. Press A. Now you've got it in your hand. Now here you are floating around with it above your head. Now to place it, it's as simple. Get it where you want it to go, and press. Oh, what do you mean failed? Failed to build the builder. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it won't go there, but it'll go there. Now it's a case of pressing R B to place things. Now once you've pressed it you're still floating with an inanimate object above your head. Now, obviously, I only built one, but it tells me I'm failed to place the building because I don't have any other ones. So if I to cancel that, just press B. Okay, and now 
I have a ceiling. Simple as. Very straightforward. Now, I don't know why I couldn't place it there, but hey ho. So that is basically the, the building side of things. Now, also, what's great is, obviously, in my radial menu, there's the roofs there. Now, if I let go of right trigger now, and basically, if I've got the ingredients, it will automatically build another one. It says. Now, you see in the bottom right, it's building another one. So once you've got it selected in your radial menu, and if you're just trying to build stuff, it saves a lot of time. Um, I mean, it's a bit, you know, confusing. But if you want to build multiple ones, you can just build it into the in the start pause menu in your inventory and just when you craft it, just mash A and however many times you need. And then again, press R B to place it. Press B to cancel it. And then you got yourselves a ceiling. So guys, hopefully that helps in learning the basics of the game. Now I believe this campfire that I'm looking up up here. They, they keep respawning enemies. So if we can, we'll have a quick fight with them so you can see roughly what I mean by the big fighting side. Also, when you've got your weapon out, if you press Y, you go out of combat mode. If you press Y, you put it straight back in again. So if you're flipping between in and out of moving and obviously attacking, as it were, then it's a case of that. Now, if you have a stone shield, you could press left trigger. It holds your shield up. Here we are, here's some enemies. Now, the one thing to be careful of is seem to be well, I've come across two or three people at a time. So make sure you don't get pincered. Two are dead. Three are dead. Excellent. So they're dead. I w oh. Oh my. I took his head clean off. There we are. Now, great with the bodies. Press X to loot them. They have gear. If you have gear and you want it, just press Y. It takes it straight from their body. Okay. There's another one. I took his arms off. They've become very mangled. That's quite disgusting. Press Y. I take his 10 stone. And we'll look at this guy here. What did he have in him? Oh, what's that? What is this? Glowing essence, a glowing gum like substance. Well, we'll press y, uh, X to take all, and I'll take it all. Now, their bodies naturally just disappear after a while anyway. And what I might do is I might see if I can destroy this campfire so it stops spawning people above my feet. Right, it's not giving me anything, so I can't destroy it. So that'll just naturally end up destroying my. Can't destroy their camp. Okay, so if you come across an encampment, we've all learned that today. If you come across an encampment, it's there to stay. I mean, I guess as I get stronger, they'll become easier to eat. Also, you can see in the top left here, my thirst is becoming quite frequent now, and I stupidly got rid of my bag. So we'll go back to the house. <coughs> and we'll grab my water bag. For some bizarre reason, but both water bottles in there. There they are. Right, so we'll take that. We'll take that one. We'll take the building materials and we'll put the stuff that I'm not using at the moment into the chest. Now again, exactly the same way as before. We'll drop these. No, I can't drop them yet. So basically, to use items again, it's just a case of clicking on it, press X to use it, and it's self-explanatory. So obviously, I'm just filling my water up. Now, obviously, the great thing about it is if you go into the water, okay, I'm literally like knee deep in the water. You grab your bag, you press X to use it. Oh, maybe I have to be a little bit deeper. Okay, I'm now underwater. X on the bag, press X to use it, it automatically fills it straight back up again. Okay, so obviously you saw the durability shoot up to 10 there. That means the bag's filled back up again with water, and now I've got the supply, so if I want to go out and explore, I can do it. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much the game. Okay, that's pretty much all the controls. Up on the D pad goes first person to third person, right on the D pad gives you your map. Wow. 
it gives you your map so you can see the very north of the map there it looks like some sort of giant volcano earthquake kind of meteor site description uh, you've got some bridges you've got some obviously some some big structures there you've got the big circular structure in the center there you've got what looks like a, 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 a kind of some sort of waterway on the right hand side there obviously that's just dream area there is a temperature on this game as well so if you where you start off right at the very bottom here just purely in the desert that's very hot you start getting overheated therefore you get very thirsty very quickly uh, so basically i've basically traveled north to the first lake as it were and i've basically set up camp here just to start so guys hopefully that helps you in understanding the game left on d-pad also shows you the chapter of the game as it were now this is basically this is basically teaching you the game as you go along. So obviously the first section is drink something, clothe yourself, eat something, win a fight, use a bed or a bedroll, craft a tool, and find signs of intelligent life. Now obviously it's all pretty self-explanatory as you read through to get them done. So guys, hopefully that helped. Uh, but other than that, yeah. Shake fist, bow, wave, yeah. Thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If so, feel free to give us a like and a comment below. And yeah, the next one, we'll go on exploring. So guys, cheers. Bye.